uh, and uh, is a part of it. So, I, though I can't speak to the specifics of what you're there, I'm convinced that that's a part of what the, the consultation process has got to be able to bring forward and really help it develop what it is that makes sense. Um, the uh, chart here yeah, at Bowdoin, um, I was alerted to something by a journalist, and it seems there might be a, a danger of taking the transit out of transit oriented development. Because uh, she said, to all, I found it was true, there was, there was an idea of actually moving the station to the edge of the development and demolishing the old station, putting the railway underground. But, uh, I did suggest that perhaps if they put the railway underground, they should put the station underground to keep the old building as a coffee shop or something for the ticket office or something. But, I was a bit concerned that um, it's all supposed to be built around transit, but um, they seem rather keen to hide the transit and have a nice town square, but um, no visible transit. Um, again, I can't speak to the specifics, I'll maybe have a little bit better view soon, but what I would say is um, that we had a conscious decision to make in the Portland region about whether we would look at establishing a subway system, taking it underground, um, or not. And we made a very conscious decision to say we wanted it at street level. We wanted it to be a part of the community. We weren't about to, uh, light rail or tram or streetcar is, um, that uh, it's permanent. I mean, people have a confidence that, that you know, it, uh, it isn't like a bus line to kind of, kind of move. Now, the old line is obviously not going to move very much. Uh, but at least when I've written it, I've been surprised by how far away the development is. Uh, it's not very pedestrian accessible. Um, those things are there. Uh, but I think in the transportation world, we all want to find, probably most of any world, we want to find that silver bullet. Um, and I think it's more like silver buckshot. Uh, uh, there are lots of different parts of that equation, and we have to make a system, and the system has to work together. Connectivity is the most important thing. If you have the best transit service to get dropped off and wait a half hour for the next piece of the, the trip, that ain't very good connectivity. We've got to make it work, work together. Thank you. Uh, Sue Giles, local government, state government, sorry, Department of Planning and Local Government. Um, could you just talk to us about the mix that you've found works in the various transit oriented developments? Is it always partly residential? Um, are there any that are not at all residential that you still consider toss? Um, the, uh, this gets us into the little definitional problem, what is a Todd and what isn't and, and such, and I think we could probably debate those for quite some time. I think it's more important to be able to think about what really works in a particular area. Um, generally speaking, we consider residential activity to be very, very important because it really does create a 24-hour community. Um, and that 24-hour community is very important for everything from crime to the, the, the support, the kinds of services.